I've got two mystery boxes today to open up on this YouTube channel. They both fame came from the company Chrono Toys out of California. Both of these are $35 damaged Funko Pop mystery box. Each box has six pops in it. Shipping for each box is 15 bucks. These boxes were $50 shipped out the door. They had guaranteed value and I bought two earlier. I think I got almost double value back in each box. So the value's there. I actually saw a couple other YouTubers who opened up boxes of these and the best hit that came out I saw was worth 120. So Chrono actually did put some pretty big hits in some of these boxes. But a lot of these pops in these boxes are kind of damaged. It is a damaged mystery box. Some pops weren't that bad. So I mean, but for $35, six pops, you know, roughly six bucks a pop. Of course, if you do shipped price, it's like nine dollars or eight seventy eight fifty each with the possibility of maybe something halfway cool so you know i got two more before they sold out but these are gone now they're gone they're off the website you can't buy these anymore but time to time chrono does do these damaged mystery boxes so they will be back if you want to get yourself one of these boxes in the future so we'll go through and open up these first and then go back and look up value and see how well we did but it's crazy they actually double box these damaged mystery boxes. They double box them. How crazy is that? That's actually fantastic shipping that you double box damaged pops. A low price point box, 35 bucks. I know companies who sell boxes for 200 bucks don't double box. I mean, most companies don't because the cost of packaging and the weight of shipping that makes it kind of expensive, but yeah, it's kind of cool. Nothing will be in protectors. Everything is just loose in this. So I have no idea which is going to be good, which is going to be bad. We'll pull out the first one and see what we got. Back says Toy Story 4. Benson. This is the newest NYCC exclusive Benson. Oh, it has a small tear here on the back. The top corner right there. And a ding right there. That's not bad, though. That's, I'd say, 8, point, eh, eight out of 10 condition. Hurt value by maybe like yeah, a few bucks. 10% or so, so it's not a bad first first pull out of that box. $35 box. Next one. The back says RS at, or something. Okay, we got Witchy Poo. Toy Tokyo, New York, 2019 limited edition Witchy Poo. This is the first time I've ever gotten this, this one out of a mystery box. I've never seen this one before. Oh, we got Witchy Poo. Box condition. Has a small blemish right on the top of the box, but it's not. Really, oh, it has a small tear right here. Very small tear. Once again, you would just knock off just a few bucks off the box. It's not, not a bad pull. Next one. We've got Batman Arkham Asylum Killer Croc. That one's really detailed. That pop in, in, in that box. Damage. No damage to this one. I don't see any damage. This is a 2015 pop. This actually is probably going to be vaulted then. That might have a little bit of value to it. Next. This one's extremely light. I'm about to say, is there anything in this box? Fish Mooney. This thing is really light. Gotham. This is 2015. This is also probably vaulted, I bet. Box condition. There's no damage on it. No damage. Fifth one. Another one of these weird ones. This is Kling. NYCC 29. Oh, this one has a blemish in the back. It has a crease on the back of it. But that's the only damage that I see. Okay. Last one. Another one of these things. Oh, that one's got a good amount of damage right there. This isn't... Oh, it, oh, we got Kling and Clang. I'm not sure what those even are. The World of Sid and Marty Croft. But yeah, this has a pretty good amount of damage right there on the back. That hurt value a little bit more. But, okay. Let's see how much he's actually worth. $16. $13. $7. $11. $30. dollars $26. Actually, that's probably for the non-shared. That's probably... About 15 bucks or so. So total value on these are about 92. I say about 90 bucks. Take off some money for damage. I say this box is probably worth about 80 dollars. Once you take off a little bit for damage, so that's that's a win. 
Bought for 35, got back over double my money. Shipped price was 50 shipped. So even if you count in shipping, which you shouldn't, you know, cause it doesn't, that's not a part of it. But if you did, I still came up over 30, yeah, about $30. Take, taking off a little bit for damage for some of these pops. But yeah, so that was, you know, decent box. Best hit was $30. Here we go, last one. This is the fourth and final one that I purchased from this mystery box run. Hopefully it's got something good in it. I think the top hit I've got out of the first three was that last one in this last box. I think the first two boxes I opened up, best hit was like $27. Here we go. Okay. Once again, double box, which is actually, that's just crazy. Double box and a damaged $35 mystery box. But you know, it's appreciated. Awesome packaging. And once again, nothing in, in protectors. Let's just start pulling them out. First one says scarecrow okay almost have this whole set scarecrow a little bit of damage here on the back it's, it looks like somebody chewed on a little bit not bad though next agent 13 cool oh, this is an authentic pop life uh exclusive agent 13 a little bit of damage. I actually had, had some weight on top of it for a while. A little bit of damage right there, but not bad. Not bad. Cool one. Next, we've got Superman Soldier, the back says. Yeah, the top is a crease on the top of it. There's something loose in it, too. Oh, it's a barcode in there different okay there's like loose barcodes in this box okay next shrek yeah this one's probably gonna be vaulted oh we got puss in boots from shrek yeah 2015 yeah, this this one's gonna be long vaulted it's a cool that's probably gonna be the best hit i bet in this box next one zootopia l oh there's like stuff on this box it's very gritty it's hard to explain. It's like very, very gritty box. Like there's stuff on it. But El Finnick, I'm not sure what that is. Never seen Zootopia. And last one in this box. We've got J Balvin. Oh, nice. That's a nice hit. I actually got this thing out of a Toy USA box like a month ago. This is the J Balvin Limited Edition Chase. That is a big hit out of this box. Has a very small little like little crease right here where somebody put their finger in it, it looks like. But yeah, I think this thing was worth like 75, 80 bucks last time I looked it up. That's actually a nice hit in that box. Let's see some value. $6, $5, $9, $5. All these low ones make sense why I got that big J Baldwin Chase. $15, this is vaulted. $65. Actually, the value of this thing actually has fallen a little bit because last time I had one, yeah, I it was worth like $75, $80. Bucks. The value has fallen a little bit. I think you can still buy this pop off of this guy's website and get a possibility of a chase. I think you can. Last time I checked, like a few weeks back, a month ago, you could. I don't know if you can anymore. But total value of all six of these pops is $105. So... This box I got for 35 bucks. I got back value of 105. Like this one, I knock off like five bucks because of a small little blemish right there. This is probably worth about 60 bucks. And then the other ones, I'd say this box is probably gonna be worth about $90. Knock, knocking off, you know, five bucks for this and 10 bucks for a few other small little things here and there on these other pops. So the two boxes combined, this one I'd say after damage, taking off for damage, is worth about 90. Other box is worth about 80, if I remember correctly. So two boxes combined, I'd say in, in actual value, taken off for damage, value is about 170 bucks. I got both these boxes for $100 shipped out the door. Price point was 70 plus 30 in shipping. So I still, after shipping charges, I came up about $70. So that's actually kind of, that's fantastic. Yeah, pretty good value in these boxes. Uh, it was fun and I, 
actually got a pretty decent hit. I mean, a $65 pop out of a $35 damaged mystery box. That is a nice hit. So this was the best one out of all four boxes. And the damage of this thing is this one small little tiny blemish, which actually might be able to fix if you iron that little thing out, which you probably can. I might just fix it. So yeah, very happy, pleased, and keep your eye on Colonel Toys. They do mystery boxes. They do damage boxes. I think they do like fig pin boxes now. They do all kinds of different mystery type of boxes. So if you're ever looking for a company that I trust with my money, I do trust Colonel Toys. I've never been steered wrong by them. I've never had any questions about their integrity of their mystery boxes. Some boxes will be really good. Some will just be average. None will actually will be bad, but you, you some are average, some are really good. And these, I think, were pretty good. So I'll see you next time, and I'm out.